Man is the only creature that produces landfills. Natural resources are being depleted on a rapid scale, while production and consumption are rising. The waste production worldwide is enormous, and if we do not do anything, we will soon have turned all our resources into a one big messy landfill. If we think that natural resources will never run out, it's time that you and I woke up to the reality. Our actions are to blame for many environmental issues faced today from the reduction of natural resources, global warming, and water pollution. It is all the result of our actions. But it is never too late to do our part for the wonderful earth we live in by taking steps towards preserving and protecting the environment. And one of the steps, my dear friends, is the Kalyanme project. The Kalyanme is a non-profit branch of the Airport Authority of India, which is run by the wives of the AAI officials and female employees of the PSU. Along the internship, we have learned that every available scrap waste paper is recycled and even the waste water is harvested and reused during the paper making process. Workers who got displaced during the construction of the T3 of the IGI airport Kalyanme recognized these people and employed them with vocational training and minimal wages. Today, unskilled barbers, cobblers and washermen have become the connoisseurs in paper production. In 2011, Kalyanme started a very innovative initiative involving high school students in their paper recycling, production and marketing process through a summer internship program of 10 days. The students were able to analyze the paper recycling process from a closer angle. The knowledge and experience they gained helped them to promote this idea to a larger audience, for example, through this documentary. The production process is divided mainly into two categories, Univat and Design. The Univat team gets the opportunity to recycle paper to make sheets on a first-hand basis. These sheets are later used by the design team to make their products. Creative techniques like screen printing and block printing are provided to the students in the premises of the Kalyan May unit. And by making the most of what we had been provided with, we managed to make products like visiting card holders, jewelry boxes, paper bags, photo frames, etc. We now have Ms. Deepa Vijay with us uh, from AAI and she's going to tell us how this whole project became into a reality. This project we have started in 2005 when we find out that uh, in Airport Authority of India there is a huge quantity of paper because we are managing the, managing the air traffic. A lot of uh, records are there as per the International Civil Aviation Organization and the Minister of Civil Aviation. They are having some norms. We have to keep some record for six months or three months. And uh, these documents are the secret documents we have to dispose of. We cannot set it out uh, in the market. Ma'am, uh, why, why did you think that uh, you know this project can be done by you know students of 16, 17, 18 years old? And what was the main aim behind it, and how did you come about it? We are having the idea, we accepted it, uh, become a, the dream, become the reality in 2004. Then the major responsibility came on our shoulders. We should sensitize the younger generation who can take your flag and spread it out across the country. Because trees are the natural resources which we have to save. Definitely. And if you sensitize the younger generation, definitely. They will also sensitize another students in their school like Sri Ram, what Sri Ram did in 2011. They are having a full-fledged project uh, in their school. This is a major idea to bring on the student there as a summer intern of fitness and training. We are having this. All right. So thanks a lot, ma'am, for your time. And uh, whatever ma'am has said. It's a great deal to follow her words and uh, yes, we should recycle today for a better day. Thank you. Hi, my name is Akamsha and I'm a part of the production team. Right now I'm working with the Univac machine and uh, this is the pulp which we made yesterday. So we're going to use it to make paper bags and gift bags. 
and we're going to put the pulp, 2 or 2 5 marks of pulp in the sea and we're going to shake it and this shaking is done so that the pulp is spread and uh, we get a plain sheet without any bumps and crashes and uh, Okay, so basically uh, the bulb is yellow in color. Like we put uh, color coloring into it. It usually it bright bulb. And and also, it's a cotton. Yeah, exactly. It has uh, cotton. The cotton in it. Like you can see, like in handmade paper. Later we can show it to you that you, you can see the thin cotton. Like those are the jute shreds in it. Yeah. So and I'm going to show you the present time process of making the bulb. I'm going to shake it that. We have a plain sheet and without any bumps or anything. So basically so that uh, there are no holes or anything. So that the color spreads evenly all the way out. And you have square sheet in order to look good at it. And we use this labor kind of thing. We shake it throughout. So the water seeps out. them about the issue of paper conservation. So we taught them how to make paper and then they made their own products and they designed their own products. And at the end of it, uh, our motive, the ulterior motive was to tell them that, you know, hey, th there is a factory that actually conserves paper and reuses it and makes new products and that paper conservation is a very viable option. And uh, so that's how it all began. And then, of course, they took it forward with multiple sales. and. Um, so how was your experience last year and what motivated you to do it again this year? Um, experience last year was that of course when I officially started it, it was kind of um, wary as to will it actually happen, uh, if, if, it, uh, if something like this would actually work. But uh, the students really did uh, astound me and their, their efforts and their work was quite amazing. And uh, seeing that and seeing that actually students are so motivated into such a project made me want to do it next year as well. So that's why there's a second batch of 2012. All right. And you think it's what are the future plans of this project and how you can all future plans are basically the same sensitizing people. Our aim is to get schools involved into the whole process. Last year we got the Shriram School to donate uh, quite a lot of paper. Then the Jet Airways company actually made a lot of paper. So we want more and more schools. So the basic idea is to get schools through students. So if students are aware of it, the pool of knowledge is increasing and then perhaps schools will get, uh, will notice this effort and try and... Alright, so I guess that's about it and thanks a lot for your time. Thank you. Right now, um, the editor had an interview with me, so now I'm going to interview him to ask him and talk to him about his experience at Kalyan Bank. So, um, as usual, we're sitting with our editor here, um, Akash, and... Um, so Akash, tell us how is your experience been? The experience has been wonderful. Uh, well, I've learned a lot and uh, it's pretty much one of the best 10 days of my life. Well, the first day when I came in here and walked into the factory, I never thought that they would assign me uh, such a course to the head. 
But nevertheless, since I got the post, I was right on to it. Worked in the documentary portfolio, and now we are two days uh, ahead of time. We have finished our work, and I'm proud of it. So, how has it been as a leader? Is it your first role as a leader, uh, or has, have you had roles as a leader before? The journalist uh, part, yes, it is my first role. And uh, talking about uh, how it has been as a leader, well, not to be modest or anything, I haven't really acted as uh, much for as a leader. I mean, um, I, I had so many great uh, interns under me that you know did the work themselves. So I never had the opportunity to you know just tell them to do the work. So it was nice thing. Okay. Uh, what are two things you want to take out of this project? Well, um, the two things. Um, one is that I'm never gonna underestimate myself ever again because what I did in the first day when uh, Ayushi came and she was like, you're gonna do the documentary, the portfolio, the presentation, and blah, blah, blah. So, well, I was very tense, but it seems like that I did get things done in time. I really thank uh, my team for the effort. And the second thing, I discovered that I'm not really that bad at video editing. So yeah, I'm gonna take that as well. All right, so thank you. Hi, Rochara. Hi. What's up? <laughs> so, why don't you introduce yourself? Okay, I'm Rochara Kapoor. I'm the head of the production team. How has your experience been in these 10 days at Kalyan Me? It has been amazing. All right. Being part of the production team, we get to learn the most basic process, starting with making of paper, the whole pulping, the wrapping, and then using that paper to make products. The products we made are then sold and then that then it goes to the journalism department to market it. But yeah, it's been amazing. And do you trust the journalism team to market it well? Hopefully, considering you're the head. Alright. We made visiting card holder boxes. Okay. And uh, jewelry boxes. Um, and we made photo frames, uh, pen stands. Right now we're in the process of making paper bags, slip bags, cards and gift bags on which we will be doing string printing. The basic idea of this entire endeavor would be paper recycling, making everyone aware of its importance. So the products we're making right now is on daily use, people buy it. And we made it, like the paper we made it with our very own hands. So it is just, you know what it stands for, just to make everyone aware. Yes, aware indeed. All in all, you uh, learnt and uh, you had a great time. Okay. All right. Hi, now we're going to interview uh, Chita Gawar and uh, <laughs> take a look at the amount of uh, paper waste that's been generated, however there's already been done. And should I? Are you saying something loud? First of all, you're wrong. So, Akash. <laughs> what really inspired me was the work that Kalyan May was doing as uh, making a paper recycling factory. He's laughing. He's actually laughing. Start that before. Start, start. So, Akash, um, what are the two things that are going to take out of this story? Like, things you're going to take home? You're going to repeat the question she's asking. Three good points. Just go ahead. I mean, no, we go ahead. No, 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 no. Shut up and go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Dude, we have only 22 minutes. I will let it go. What? It's too fast. Okay, retake the video. No, 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 no. I'm trying to retake the video. Shut up, shut up. What are the two things you want to take out? So, Akash, what are the two things you want to take out? You gotta be loud, man. Don't catch the voice. So, Akash! Yeah. Take it again. Start the unmade project. I told you not to ask that question. What? <laughs> <laughs> so, what are the two things that you're gonna take? What happened now? <laughs> I didn't do anything. She's laughing. Stop giving me the stop. He gave me the face as a. And I'm like, I'm not sure what you're doing. I'm just kidding. I'm sorry.